Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I have a lot to talk about with you guys. We have a lot to discuss. Um, I am currently wearing my pajamas. Can you guys see? I'm resting on Wednesday. I got my uh, my booster shot. Um, my extra bit of 5G. And it put me on my ass yesterday at Wednesday night. And Wednesday night like was just a stressful night um, because... <clears throat> I was preparing to rest, and then I got hacked, and I was like, oh my god, what's going on? But I knew I was going to get hacked at some point, and the reason for that is that I'm in the, the top 100 leaderboards for, um, I guess, like, total coins on the game with Transit Profit. Look, guys, I'm not even really mad. I know a lot of you guys are tweeting me saying, Nick, are you upset? No, I'm not. I just am resting right now. I didn't feel good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're going to talk about it a little bit today. I'm going to update you guys on kind of my plan going forward. This situation is really complicated because these hackers have been doing this for about a month. They've been doing it for years, but they've been attacking the people for a month. Um, and the way it works is that basically they go to EA live chat. They tell them, hey, my email uh, I can't access and my phone I can't access. Because guys, any good company, all right, and I'm serious, EA is not a good company. Any good company... Um, you have to, to get into an account, you have to answer security questions, and you have to send, uh, two-step verification, which for me, I don't even allow it to my email. I only allow it to, uh, my cell phone. So you have to have access to my inbox on my phone to get into my accounts. Um, but EA obviously said what they're doing in live chat right now is that, you know, this guy or people that are hacking, um, they're phishing basically, uh, till they get the right employee to basically allow them to change their email. So... My email, I can't even access my EA account. I have no access in online to my EA account, uh, which means that my account is compromised forever. Uh, so what does this mean, right? It means that this account this year is pretty much done because no matter what, the issue here is that these people that are hacking, to so all these people they've hacked, I mean, there's been other creators, top 100 traders, Dross, Lario, Foot Donkey, like all these guys, we're all screwed because we can dance around this guy as long as we want, but at the end of the day, he has full access he or she has full access to our account um, because EA gives them a non-expiring password reset link to that email that they changed it to. I hope that makes sense. It's very complicated. And usually when you guys get hacked, you say, oh, you know, you're a creator. It's okay. EA can fix that. They'll give you your coins back. This hacker actually wants EA to compensate. And there was a German YouTuber that's got hacked three times now. Uh, and it, what happens is because the hacker knows that he's going to keep getting compensated. So he's just stealing and stealing coins. I think this guy I stole up to like hundred thousand dollars of coins at this point um so yeah we're pretty much screwed with this account because there's nothing i can do to get full access back even if i change my email uh this guy is going to do the same thing with ea live chat i actually can't even change my email now um so i i can't i have no access via the web or my phone now what's interesting i have access via my psn because on console um obviously my account is linked to my PSN, right? And this guy can't hack my PSN. So that's fine. But the issue here is that there's not really much left for me on this account anymore because anytime I actually make coins or uh, do anything, this hacker is going to try to take all my stuff. I'm basically account sharing with a hacker for the rest of the year. This is going on with 20 other people in the leaderboards and more and more it will happen because EA, uh, EA are not going to do anything about it. And I think he, I think, yeah. Well, I had I had 158k last night, so I don't know what this guy did. Yeah, he did something, um, very interesting. I don't know, I don't know what he did. No, he didn't. So yeah, basically, um, obviously, you know, this for me is a hard one with this account this year because I've got my best first owner in tradables like ever. Um, I really do, but I don't see myself wanting to continue on this account because EA have issued a statement, uh, basically about this whole hacking scandal. And, uh, you know, guys, the thing is, man, like, people expect EA to want to help here, man. EA don't care, all right? And nothing is going to come from this situation. I I know some of you guys are saying, Nick, why are, you, why are you doing this and that to fight against it? Guys, it's EA Sports, man. They had employees selling Prime Icons last year for money, and they didn't get in any trouble. They didn't even do a follow-up response, right? So there was a whole thing that EA was going to make a response, and basically their response is that you can secure your account with two-factor authentication, which every single person who's hacked has done. So thank you, EA, for the help there. We appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they, the thing is, guys, I have been forwarding this to three employees at EA for three weeks, and they've done nothing about it. They don't even know how to fix it. So I'm not even going to sit here and blame those guys. They don't know what to do. 
In my eyes, what they should have done was shut down EA's help, uh, their, their live chat's ability with FIFA. They should have just shut it down. Or they should have just shut down the top 100 leaderboards because the main people that are getting targeted are the people in the top 100 leaderboards, guys. That's the main people that are getting uh, targeted at the moment. Um, so what I've done... Uh, what I've done, guys, you know, kind of to counter this, I mean, it's not going to really work long term, but I basically, you guys know I had Neymar on my team, I bought 15 million coin worth of cards, and I listed them for three days when this happened to me on Wednesday night. Obviously, you guys, this is my first time back on. I bought Mbappe. I probably bought terrible prices. I bought Koulibaly. I tried to spend my coins as quick as possible, and I listed anything of high value for my club for three days. Um, and so what does this mean? You know, yes, my coins are still on this account. Um, but this account is screwed all year because I, when I'm not on console on this account and a PSN logs you off automatically, I tried to rubber band overnight on Wednesday, but when I woke up in the morning, it logged me off automatically due to inactivity. Um, so basically when I'm not on the account, the guy is going to have a chance on the web app, uh, to take my coins. Um, so we're basically, I'm basically sharing an account with a hacker now. So this account is completely compromised. And the worst part about it, guys, is like, it's not even about FIFA for me. I don't like that someone has all my info. I don't like that somebody, you know, maybe they're going to try to access other things now. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it is. You know, I've seen ty t types of scenarios where like, you know, people will steal accounts and then they start applying for credit in someone's name. I just, I don't want to deal with that stuff. So for me, it's really disappointing that EA can't protect me on this game. Um, and you guys have to be understanding that if you're playing this game and grinding it, you might come to a a, 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 um, a point where like, you know, you're, you're, you've got such a successful account or something, uh, or you spend a lot of money or time, and then that's not going to be rewarded. Like you're actually going to be more on a hit list to get your account stolen. So you got to be careful with that. And that, that really is limiting my ability to want to like grind FIFA. Very, very sad. Um, I want to see in my club real quick. So I try to list everything for three days. I mean, um, yeah, so the hacker, he went through and took all my team of the week informs which is actually really funny. Um, so yeah, he took all of my special informs. I had like a club stock um, of special team of the week informs. So he took all of those. And I think they took all of the... Uh, so they, they took about two mil from me. They took every single one of my... Uh, they took every single one of my, uh, you know, tradable things, guys. So all my tradable stuff is gone. Um, that wasn't like that yesterday. So he must have just done it overnight because I wasn't logged on overnight. And uh, I guess I guess I guess the silver lining is that I'll always have more access than the hacker. He's probably watching this video. Um, I'm not even that. I'm not really that mad that he took my account or, or took my stuff. I mean, it, it is what it is, guys. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just disappointing in a way, guys. It's just disappointing because I was having a lot of fun on this account this year, and now this account is pretty much done uh, because you know EA couldn't protect me. It's a it's a breach of data in a way too, guys. Like it really is. Um, that, you know, this is even a possibility. I mean, something that I could do for the rest of the year is maybe try to do like a first owner thing on this account. But the issue is like, I'm sharing this account now with somebody all year. And anytime I make any coins, he's just going to take all the coins. So they probably took like one or two mil from the account so far. Um, I, from what I can see. And I, at some point, it'll probably, they'll probably catch me off guard and take the rest, which is fine. So this account is done for the rest of the year. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do in terms of going forward. I mean, what I think I'm going to do in, in terms of moving forward with you guys and stuff is, um, you know, I, I, I think in another like idea is that I think I'm just going to get another account from a friend that's loaded, um, with coins. Like, that's what I think I'm going to do. And I'm going to make sure that that account's not on the top 100. I'm going to go back to the old days, like FIFA 15, where you, you block out the top left corner. Um, <laughs> So it's, uh, you can't see the club name. I'm not going to show the gamer tag and I'm going to try my best to not be on the top 100. That, that's what I'm going to try to do. And then that way we can get a ton of coins on that account, you know, rip lining roster team of the year, um, have a little bit more of a, a content general experience because I think this account is done for the year. There's nothing I can do to get full access back. Like at some point, this, this person will always be able to change the password. They'll always be able to go back to EA live chat, change the email. So it's super disappointing. And it's not just me. There's many other people. It's most top 100 people um, on the leaderboard, spe spe specifically PlayStation, I think, are getting ruined by this. Um, and fair play to this hacker, man. He's really good at what he does. He's been going into these accounts very swiftly. I knew it was going to happen to me at one point. I've been getting codes for weeks. What's actually really scary about all this is that when I actually did get hacked, I was buying some cards to invest for Thursday's market rise uh, on Wednesday night. 
I was buying some team of the week and things like that. And uh, I just got logged out, but I didn't get an email or a text message. And then I realized I was like, okay, I'm probably hacked. So I went on console like right away, uh, right when it happened, I was lucky to detect it pretty early. Like I wasn't out and about, I got logged off. I went right on console and I, I started buying cars. I logged them off. And uh, yeah, so I mean, at some point he'll probably get the best of me. And so that's why this account is just done for the year. If I ever wanted to put this Mbappe in my club, I guess what I could end up doing is like, Playing with cards and then the second I finish I have to list them again until the next time I'm online on my console the reason why I did it three days initially was like I didn't really know like what's gonna happen here um but yeah fair play to the hacker because he's got so I wonder if I could make like a different EA account under the same PSN if that's even possible um but yeah it's a sad time man we, we're not really offered any protection here and EA are just not helping and they're lying I'm not trying to accuse them I'm also not trying to start like a, a media riot I've been uh emailed and tweeted it but for many people that want comments and stuff and like i'm just tired guys i'm tired of ea with their lack of competence um to want to give solutions or protection um and i you know I, I i can only respect at the end of the day um that i have to just kind of like zone in and figure out what i'm going to do next so my plan is that i'll probably end up using you know, maybe another account or two. I don't know what I'm going to do with this account. Maybe we could try to use it for like first owner SBCs only. It's going to be hard because it's going to be this kind of stressor that I know someone else is on my account. And so that every time I finish on console, I'm going to have to remember to list my cards because I'm sharing an account with basically a guy that's sitting there waiting to take all my coins, which is very not ideal. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I think the best solution is that probably for team of the year, I'll get an account from a friend that's loaded with coins, like tons of coins millions and you know what I, I i'm i'm not too fussed because if ea want to get mad about that it's very hypocritical because at the end of the day they were the reason that i had to move away from my main account um and they were the reason that you know i couldn't get offered protection on my main account so you know what i'm gonna go ahead and do what's best for my content creation of my career which is that i need to have a lot of coins uh, as soon as possible so i can keep trying out players for you guys for my second channel and so we can do a lot of packs. We probably do way more packs than we usually do now because, you know, that's just what it is. Um, so that would be pretty cool. Uh, we'd be able to try all the Team of the Year players. We'd be able to rip Team of the Year lightning rounds with a lot of coins. I think for content, it would be a huge win and maybe a little bit of a silver lining here. But um, yeah, so to the hacker, man, this guy, this guy won. There's nothing I can do. I mean, there's really nothing I can do. I can keep stallmating with him and listing my cards, but what's the point? He won. I'm not even going to fight him. And regarding EA, I, I don't really have anything to say to EA. Am I surprised? No. Am I angry? I'm not angry. Um, I'm not really angry, guys. I'm just tired of EA. Um, and yeah, I don't think, I, I, I think that's probably going to be sayonara for this account this year. I mean, we'll always be able to log on, but there's not much point, right? There's not much point for me to want to use these first owners or grind really, guys, if there's just not really any incentive to ever make coins or... You know, there's not really a room for growth on this account anymore, which is kind of the issue. When you play uh, FIFA on an account, you know, whether you spend money on the game, whether you buy coins, whether you grind rewards, out of all that stuff, I mean, you're at least kind of growing your account as you go. And just, yeah, sadly, like, there's not much of that left for me anymore, right? Because, you know, I probably, anytime I get over 500K, this guy's just going to take the coins. Um... So, I mean, yeah, it's it's definitely disappointing to see. I actually wonder if at any point, like any of the people that are getting hacked, if our accounts are going to get flagged for like coin selling. I, that would be hilarious if if that comes out where like EA is like, yeah, we noticed some suspicious, uh, suspicious activity in, in your account. But yeah, bottom line is I can't access my account through my EA ID or email anymore. When I do that, it says it doesn't even exist. Um, and I'm honestly not trying to spend 60 minutes talking to EA help guys because... I just don't want to waste my time. Um, I, I've spoken to two EA employees already about all this, and they asked me if I created an EA help case ID, and I'm just like, bro, th these guys, they, they're, they're, too, they're too, like, stiff and protected behind the, the, the legal proper words that EA is kind of requiring them to do. So do I think there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel for any of these people getting hacked? No. Um, hopefully EA can kind of find a solution for the people that are going to be impacted in the future, because... Look, guys, look, this guy is making a huge business out of hacking, man. I mean, he's probably stolen, like, people have been saying they've been theorizing, like, $100,000 a coin so far, and he'll continue, man. I mean, the thing is, like, as people are dropping out of the top 100 as he takes coins, 
Um, you know, I mean, I mean, it's not gonna stop. It's not. He's not gonna stop. And there's gonna be more people in the top hundred. I mean, uh, you know, Foot Donkey was up there before. Um, you know, so people are gonna keep getting hacked for sure, man. It, it's not gonna stop. And as this guy takes down people in the top 100, um, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna keep going for the ones that are getting new and, and back in. So. Yeah, disappointing, guys, for sure. Tonight, we have headliners, too. I'm not going to be streaming. I don't know when I'm going to stream this weekend, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling right now. I got to rest a little bit. This video definitely took a little bit to go ahead and make. Um, but yeah, another news. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. I just want to update you guys, man, because this is kind of what's going on. It's, it's very... Why people ask me, do I have account access? I do, but it's very complicated. And hopefully, this video makes sense to you guys. It's a super crazy situation, um, to be honest. So yeah, um, we're going to go with the professional term, I think, going forward is I'm going to get an account from a friend uh, it's set up and that's what we're gonna do going forward guys I think it's gonna be a year of content season I mean look it already has been right in a way it already has been we've been opening uh, lightning rounds when we can we've been doing most SBC so I did if there was any year for me to get hacked it was this year I've made the least amount of coins in the last three four years um, and I've been kind of sending the most stuff I've I've been in the last couple of years so if there's any year it was this year I think the one disappointing thing is my first owners are insane um, and that's definitely disappointing. I worked really hard to get crazy first owners. And of course, the one year I get good first owners, my account gets chalked. But anyways, hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm going back to rest. See you guys later. Peace.